Captain. Not sorry to be back in the base. The unit that came back earlier told us there were casualties. Cassie. That's right, soldier. She did what had to be done to protect us all. Here. Anything to report while we were gone? The kid you brought back is already causing trouble. Halsey! Oh, they lay one finger on her. We had to increase security. You have to give your full name now. You can't just use your badge. Seriously? Another new procedure? Davis knows you, Captain. He'll let you in, no problem. Thank you, soldier. I'll be in the break room if anyone's looking for me. I want to be here if my men need me. All right, Captain. New security protocol, soldier. We have to record everyone who goes into or comes out of the building. Please give us your full ID, first and last name, so I can verify your information. Your name is... Shit. I need a credible name. I need to get inside. Then I'll take time to finish up here. That'll be easier. Suit yourself. Hang in there, sweetie. Mommy's coming. These meatbags are going to pay for dragging you back here. There are a lot of them. It won't be hard to blend in. Keep your eyes open. You heard the captain. Yeah, gotta be ready for anything. Another one. Yes, soldier? Were we able to bring anything of value back from this mission, Captain? Yes, soldier. Mission accomplished. I hope that by giving these elements to the Society of St. Leopold, we'll be able to clean up Boston that much faster. Uh, the little girl we found? That's no kid. Do you know what they did with her, Captain? Agent Olsen must have taken her down to one of the labs. What will he do to her? No idea. But there's a reason he's Stanford's right-hand man. He's obsessed by the infected and won't pass up a chance to study them. Uh, I see. Sorry to bother you. No worries. Can I help you? I heard you talking earlier about the little girl we brought back. That's not a little girl anymore. She's been infected. Yeah, yeah. Was there a problem? Must have been, because the security protocol changed. But nobody really knows what happened. What did they do with her? No idea. The SAD agents and St. Leopold guys are in charge of it. Oh. I didn't know that. You're going to forget all the moments in your sad, pitiful life where you felt loved. But... I... I... You have no memory that you ever felt love at any point in your life. Nobody loves you. Everyone hates you. Despise you. They mock you. <laughs> you have never loved yourself. I... It's... It's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's horrible. And now it's your life.
Hey, how can I help you? We captured a child during the op. Yeah, I saw her coffin come through. Uh, her what? You know, the containers we transport them in. Uh, what are they gonna do with her? No idea. What happens in the lab, stays in the lab. You've never been attached to anything or anyone. You're not interested in anything. Not things, not people. Everything tastes like ashes and asphalt. Everything is gray and flavorless. You're incapable of caring about others, or even caring about yourself. It's like death. Yes, but you're alive. And for a long time, I hope. Leave. I don't want anything. It's all right. He sent over the change of program. for bruises, painkillers. Three Danvers. I could use that to get through the gate. Want to go in this time? I'm listening. Danvers, Bree. Great. Everything's in order. You can go in. Oh, hurry up. There's no time to waste. Take the kid down to the lab. All right. Oh, we'll see. Sorry, I still have to archive these reports. One of your men isn't feeling well, right? Thank <laughs> you. 
exits. We didn't stand a chance. Shit. They're really organized. They threw that all together in less than 24 hours. A map of the basement. They knew about everything. Shit. They even had the layout of the Red Salon. I've got orders. You have to wait here. Nobody's allowed in, sorry. Private San Diego is in isolation. Why? Don't ask questions. I've got orders, that's all. You need to go guard the entrance now. Uh, oh yes, that's right. I'm on my way. None too soon. Follow me. It will take a minute. Yes. drawings spattered with blood that means she's been here I need to hurry be here leave now my daughter exists you lied to me and even worse you let them bring her here my daughter listen now is neither the time nor the place stop to... it enough i don't give a shit about where we are how dangerous it is or anything else you stole halsey from me you made me forget everything! Why did you do it? I did it to protect both of you, of course! You caused too much of a stir within the court because of your gifts. They're both your strength and your greatest weakness. No! That's not gonna work anymore, Richard! Ugh, your excuses that only you alone understand! Oh, what danger could have been so great that you felt like you had to separate us, lie to us, and manipulate us like you did? It, it's because of the prince! head about three years ago she said she was a dangerous liability and she probably wanted to put me in my place she ordered me to do it but i couldn't i had to make everyone believe i'd destroy her for both your sakes <sighs> to protect us of course believe it or not I've always been helping you. What about Halsey? 
What did you tell her? That... that you had been destroyed. I had no other choice. I had to find a way to keep her safe and stop her from looking for you. When you talk about safety, do you mean hers? Or yours? All of yours? Well... <laughs> both, actually. But... do you realize the harm you caused her? Laisha, these feelings you both have, that twisted vestige of your humanity, it's your illness. It's what I've been trying to treat for all these years. I never asked you to do that. I trusted you, and you tricked us. You let those mortals bring her here, and that... It's the Second Inquisition, Laisha. I'm here on the Prince's orders. My assignment concerns everyone. We have to fight them. Halsey can't be our priority. The fate of the Boston Camarilla, and your fate as well, is at stake here. And you're the one who's supposed to save us? I can sense your anger, but don't make a mistake. We'll all regret. Hazel believes I'm our last hope to defeat the SI and protect the Masquerade. Your thirst for vengeance would lead to your doom and Halsey's. Is that all? I sense that you're afraid of me. You're right to be afraid. Yes. But I'm even more afraid of the SI. And you should be too. If you're the reason our plan should fail, you'll both pay the price. Just think. I don't want to listen to you anymore. It's over. So be it. I won't let anybody tell me what to do anymore. <laughs> No regrets, no remorse. I think I've aced your last lesson, Richard. You must know where Halsey is. Shit, they were going to torture her. I'll make them pay for what they've done to us all. Infamous bitch to whom I'm bound, like the convict to his chain. Agent Emmett Olson, it is 07 a.m. on September 6, 2019. I'm now proceeding with the interrogation. Wait, Agent Olson. What now? Halbert, he doesn't look too good. September 6, 2019, 048 a.m. The subject has surpassed my expectations. Although childlike in appearance and neutralized, she demonstrates Incredible telepathic abilities. Monsignor ordered that she be weakened before her transfer to the Vatican. We will leave her in a high security container in Lab L 04 in basement 4, in the hope that my hypothesis is correct and she will gradually lose her ability to cause harm. Lab L 04, basement 4. Finally! 
Hang on, sweetheart. I'm coming. Hang in there, sweetie. 